Now, after reviewing uh, preload and afterload, let's have this clinical example. We have a 70-year-old patient, male patient diagnosed with septic shock, secondary to UTI, was decided to place him on mechanical ventilation, secondary to low GCS glaucoma scale and severe metabolic acidosis. Soon after placing him on mechanical ventilation, he became profoundly hypotensive. So what's going on and how to intervene? As you all know, by default, these people with septic shock here, they are volume depleted and they need aggressive fluid resuscitation. Remember the 30 cc per kg for septic shock. Now, when we placed him on mechanical ventilation, that led to a decrease in the preload of RV led to decrease preload of LV and decrease cardiac output and then more decrease in blood pressure. So the intervention here is not pressure, it's IV fluid. Give IV fluid, aggressive IV fluid resuscitation. So that's the best intervention here. And if he remained hypotensive after that, you may consider pressures, but IV fluid that will lead to increase his preload and then help increase the cardiac output and improve the blood pressure. So whenever we intubate or decide to place somebody on mechanical ventilation, please make sure to optimize volume status for that patient. If there is any size of volume depletion, please give IV fluid before intubation, if you can. Of course, if not, make sure you give it during intubation and after intubation. Any cases, any hypo decrease in the blood pressure after placing mechanical ventilation, placing somebody in mechanical ventilation, the treatment most of the time, almost always IV fluid resuscitation, except if you are intubating somebody for pulmonary edema or cardiogenic shock, because in those cases will come to them shortly, you need to decrease preload. So remember, Hypotension after placing somebody on mechanical ventilation mainly related to decreased preload and then the setting of volume depletion. All the treatment most of the time is IV fluid resuscitation. If you don't know, just give fluids. Unless you're treating pulmonary edema or cardiogenic shock, then you may need to use pressors because you're trying to decrease preload.